Hello everyone and welcome to Math Analytics Masterclasses Season 2. In this season, we will try to give you more details when it comes to the nitty-gritty of data processing. In this course, we are going to cover the elements that will help us better create granularity out of the data that we have received from the client. My name is Ramla and I am the CEO and co-founder of Mass Analytics. The splitter processor. So what this processor allows you to do is to split your variable into different other variables. One of the applications that I can think of is that you have received your total uh, paid search variable, for example, and you want in your modeling to account for the fact that different campaigns could have different impacts. So what you could potentially do is use the splitter processor in order to split your total variables into separate campaigns so you can allocate a different coefficient later on in the modeling stage for each campaign. So you can go back to your client and say that campaign one, for example, was, was much more effective than campaign two or campaign three because it had bigger coefficient on your equation than the other campaigns. This is an illustration of the splitter processor when we apply to a total variable in order to create different campaigns. However, the analyst could use different ways to split the variable. It could be by creative, it could be by date part, it could be by spot length. It really depends on what granularity you want to add to your variable. And what I really urge you to do is to make sure that you get as many business questions as possible from your clients so you know what level of splitting you need to apply to your variables in order to get the answers to your to your client when it comes to all the business questions that they are seeking to respond to. Split region. Split region is generally used in the context of regional analysis or pool regression. For example, we are pooling stores, we are pooling geographical regions, or we are pooling DMAs in the States. And we suspect that certain uh, cross-sections of the data, for example, certain DMAs or certain stores, could have a different impact than the regional average. In that context, what you would need to do is to apply the split processor or the split by region processor in order to allow certain regions or certain DMAs to have different coefficient than the regional average. When we use the split region processor, what technically happens is that we create an additional variable. For example, if we have a price variable that takes values across all the regions, and we suspect that in the north region, the price should have a different sensitivity than the other regions, we may decide to split that region. So this means that we'll be creating another variable that will, take, that will have prices, values for the uh, north region, and will have zeros for all the other regions. Now the coefficient that will be measured later on in the modeling phase for the price variable that has been created for the north region will depict the sensitivity of the north region when it comes to prices that could potentially be different from the average price elasticity that is measured with the, uh, all the other regions. The edit processor. This processor is pretty much straightforward. It consists of replacing some values in your original data sets by other values because we think that the new values are more suitable for your context. For example, you are correcting a mistake in your initial data set. Or for example, you have, you have created a seasonal variable and when you graph that seasonal variable, you may think that for specific periods we have very extreme values and we want to edit them. In that context, you will use the edit processor in order to change the values of those variables. However, my advice to always be very careful when you use this processor because you need to give an explanation on to why you have changed your values. You have to have a decent and reason that could explain why you have used the edit processor because in a way you are changing your data and that could be sometimes dangerous. For example, we graph sales data against the Christmas seasonality. 
And when we did that, we realized that in one of the years, we are missing Christmas. So that's why we need to edit back the data in order to make sure that we account for Christmas period during the last year of analysis. And that's where we would be using the edit processor. But we know that we have an explanation. We are doing this because we know that Christmas actually happens every single year. And in the original data set, it was missing. And we are now editing the original data set in order to make it more accurate and closer to reality. Thank you very much for watching. I hope these videos uh, added some increments to your marketing mix modeling knowledge. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Please comment in case you have any questions and it would be my pleasure to get back to you with all the answers that you are seeking in the context of these videos and in the context of marketing measurement and marketing mix modeling. Thank you very much.